Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about what is React and why would we use it. So React is a JavaScript library. It was developed by and maintained by Facebook uh, since 2011. So according to the creator of React, GS Jordan Walking, it is a declarative platform. So whatever we write in React, it is going to be more readable and more easier to understand and it is very efficient we can easily develop and update the application it's also very flexible we can add some more components we can add some more modules and we can easily adjust and handle those application so react is a javascript library for building the great user interfaces so if anyone is uh, have basic information knowledge of JavaScript, CSS, and HTML, they can easily adopt this platform. So React also allows us to compose complex UIs from small and isolated pieces into an components. So the great thing about React is if we have any complex screens or I have any complex uh, uh, UIs, we can uh, break them into little uh, small chunk of pieces and reuse those components as well as in throughout the applications so if we go and visit this react.js organization application we can see here it clearly mentioned a react a javascript library for building user interfaces so they have a great uh, web application they they provide the great documentation for new developers who want to learn and understand the react so this is a great uh, website they also provide the tutorials for their uh, developers so if anyone want to understand how to re write react how to install do the installations and how to create the basic projects and what are the prerequisite requirements and uh, give us the great idea of how we can uh, set up the development environment and how we can write the code and what is basically react and all those topics are very uh, great to understand in detail so react.js.org is a great uh, website to understand react how the react is working how we can set up all those things and it's a great platform to learn blogs they have a lot of blogs uh, they usually upgrade their blogs with the time to time so anyone who is interested or understand the depth of their functionalities backend functionalities how they work or their uh, features work so it's a great uh, site to uh, explore and understand the react and they have a great community that the one of the great uh, uh, thing about the react is they have a wonderful uh, support team uh, they have a great community of st on stack overflow and also on the react community so it's very easy to uh, get uh, ideas from their developers uh, it's very easy to resolve your issues discuss your issues with the developers and you can easily find out they now currently react is using uh, the latest version of react is 18.2.20 uh, they have multiple languages suppose and also on the github they have open source projects and easily uh, we can uh, reach out to them and explore them so popular discussion forums like they have all this uh, dev react community hash node react community net react netflix react flex online chat reddit uh, react community so it's a great uh, platform you can also follow them on the twitter for official uh, their uh, official uh, blogs and for latest news so yeah so some of the big companies using the react like facebook uh, because facebook have developed the react and also maintaining the react facebook is using the react netflix paypal atlassian airbnb dropbox salesforce and tesla so these are the one of the big companies in the world they are using the react because they know and they understand the values of the react that how great and how easy to update and how easily we can adopt in our environment so that's why they are adopting and using this react so my question is why react why they are big giant companies are using react what is the reason for using the react 
why we want to uh, move from other frameworks to the react so there are a lot of reasons like if uh, i'm just uh, going to discuss that react is very smooth it's it, it's very nice it has very nice transactions because if we discuss about why we move from javascript to react and why if we move from angular to react what are the main reasons so the first thing is it has a very strong community support such as stack overflows dev react communities reddit react communities it's a great communities because for developers sometimes it was difficult to upgrade or sometimes it is difficult to stuck on some places where they need the community supported so react is one of the best platform for the community supported also one of the core thing is react support the potential of reuse component it saves developer a lot of time because we do, we work on a react in a small chunk of components so we can write our customized components and we can reuse them multiple time or thousand time in multiple applications and also if we see that uh, like previously in the past uh, we when we click on any button and button uh, take back the request to the server and server give back the response and it is a delay process there is a lot of uh, delay process in one of the in a lot of applications but now react have covered all these processes now we if we click on the button it 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 is very responsive it's very fast and also it has very it is very smooth it's it's instantly responses back so and also without refreshing the, those pages or without refreshing those components we easily get back the responses so speed wise if we uh, look into speed wise react react allow developer to use different components on client and as well as on server side so without causing ripple changes throughout the code base the result it is the it boosts the speed of the development process very fast because uh, in the past if we see some other frameworks uh, uh, or old asp or old uh, jsp or other uh, development frameworks for web basis we see that there is a lot of time consuming issues if we click on one thing uh, we have server side uh, responses so it it, it causes a lot of time but now the speed wise react is it boosts the speed of the development process and also simplicity simplicity wise react is just sim simpler to learn and it's very easy if you have if you have the basic understanding of javascript html and css you can easily learn and react has very well defined life cycle and also you can just use plain javascript to make react very simple to learn and build a professional website a mobile application or anything and one thing about react is react uses the simple syntax that is called jsx which allows you to mix html with javascript so that is really fun and that is really great to work on these things when you have jsx you will probably you will enjoy that platform and it is not a basically requirement developer can still write in plain javascript but js is much jsx is much easier to use and write and also react is very easy to learn anyone with a basic previous knowledge in programming can easily understand react like we have angular we have some other frameworks uh, they refer to as a domain specific language amplifying that is difficult to learn them sometimes because if you are not great in the programming or adopting new frameworks like uh, angular or some other then react is a great platform for you to learn because here you just need to have a basic knowledge of css html and javascript so anyone who who is not going want to learn some other frameworks and they need to stick with their basic understanding react is a great platform for them as well as performance wise one of the major advantage of react is that it is designed to deliver high performance applications the core of the framework offers a virtual dom program and server side rendering which is a key point of the react which make it easy for complex applications to run extremely fast so this is basically the particular reason why big companies like facebook dropbox salesforce tesla netflix are using the react 
and flexible flexibility wise usually web application development involves monolithic projects that are bulky and very challenging to fix on hands since react js has a modular structure it is easier to update and manage so that's why it's very flexible and easy to adopt testability react js are super easy to test because react views can created as a function of the state so we can manipulate with the state we pass to the react js view and take a look at the output and triggered actions events and functions so it's very testability is so easy we can test our applications quite nicely most loved platform framework like you can see according to the stack overflow 74.5 percent of people love working on react platform so that's a win-win solution for react react js is the most loved and the most wanted web frame by the developers so that's the good news for react developers pros and cons actually everything have a pros and cons so react do also have like the the pros are react support the virtual dom in virtual dom we have a tree based structure here we uh, explore our components and states and dig into it and find out from higher level to the lower level we can figure it out what was the states and values so it, it has a great support of virtual dom we can easily see the html dom in a virtual dom and figure it out from debugging what actually values we are looking into it and how we can interact with those uh, virtual dom uh, components so it's very fun to work on it time taking on complex cases yes that is true but i i could say that that is not a, actually a drawback that is basically yeah that uh, complex things do take some uh, sometimes when we work on those things because we need to make the component different components and when you meet we need to handle those states throughout the application so it, it is i can say it is a little bit uh, complex but not as much as as if you think so seo friendly yeah react is very seo friendly if you uh, write the right component and right application with with right text it is very user friendly and very easy to access on web application but the reason is that the main reason is that react generates the components and the application loads the application quite nicely and quickly so if any application loads quickly on the seo it's very easy to uh, get the highest rank quickly so react the main reason of react is that uh, if you have a react application there there are a lot of chances that without applying the seo rules you can get into a search uh, quite quickly reusable components yeah react uh, allow us to reuse components which is a great thing in proper documentation yeah at some times uh, and there there is a uh, um, few things in in the earlier start of the react that there's something uh, improperly managed in their documentation but now with the time as uh, up updates are coming they are quite nicely updating their documents easy data flow data flow is quite easily because now uh, after coming of the redex react is uh, have a very good support of data flow and it's a one way of binding and it's very easy to manage and handle js as a barrier yes jsx is as a barrier it's true but it it is not something that it stop us from doing uh, development or creating issues in our development it is something i uh, a borderline uh, which we need to really uh, look into it or not but but as far as i think jsx as a barrier it's a little bit issue not as much complex as it is easy debugging and testing that is, is really true it's very easy to debug and testing it allows developers to debug their code quite nicely and easily you do not need to install a lot of you know, tools or you do not need to do a lot of extra work to debug and test their code so last but not the least react is an excellent tool with which to create interactive application for mobile web and other platforms with new develop with new libraries and new framework being developed every year it is tough to predict 
which technology is here for the long term. But React JS have proved its durability for the last 10 years. So we are also hoping for the many more years that it, it is going to be very durability and efficient and scalable. So as a developer uh, for last 10 to 10 years almost, I would suggest React is one of the great platform for web applications to develop. And if you are not good in understanding the really complex frameworks, React is really for you guys. And also, it is not just easy. It's performance wise, it's very fast and it's very simple also. Structure and life cycles are all very simple. And you can easily test your applications, which is one of the core issues for sometimes for developers that they cannot test their applications. And speed wise, it react boosts the speed of the development process as well. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, if you have any difficulties, and if you have if you have anything which make doubts in your mind, so please reach out to me through this email. Thank you. Have a good day.